Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to an episode of Rage Quit. In this episode, instead of telling you all why you should never leave a game, I'm actually going to do the opposite and tell you all the reasons to quit, all the reasons to back out and not play and just bail and get on your jetpack and GTFO. Most of these reasons aren't due to the way the game is built or because you don't like it, but legitimate stuff, cheating, lag, you know, family issues, etc, etc. I'm showing this game first. This is when I was trying to get the G36C Riot Shield gameplay, one of the few games I was doing good, admittedly camping, but still doing good. The other team all rage quit and we ended up uh, winning by default, which wasn't very fun because I didn't get the gameplay from Machinima Respawn. Right here in the beginning, I want to read a message to you from MC Smokey Bear. He was one of the guys in the last episode that used the uh, thermal silenced LSW86s that rage quit. He sent me a message that said, someone linked me to your comeback versus me yesterday. For the record, I screamed on my partner for quitting. You got that one though. Good game and good channel and keep doing your thing. I thought this was really, really cool. A very rare Rarely do I ever get a good game, nice competition, any of that sort of thing when playing online. It's not just Modern Warfare, it's Battlefield, it's Unreal, it's any Counter-Strike, any game. When you beat somebody, nowadays they don't say good game very much, it's more like go suck a dick you faggot or something like that. So what was really cool is I thought that both of these guys were assholes and that they just screamed and left. One of them did scream and he did leave obviously, but the other one saw the video, apparently agreed with me in some way, thought that the game was good and was fun even though they lost very, very narrowly and sent me this message. So it made me all good and uh, feel good and tingly inside, not the sexual kind of tingly. That's a very wrong kind of tingly that you probably shouldn't be feeling when you're playing Modern Warfare 3 unless you're putting the controller in some very inappropriate places. But we're not going to talk about that today. I haven't seen anybody cyber on this in, in a very long time. Anyway, in this game, they all just kind of bailed out, which kind of sucks because it seems like every time I'm doing good in this game, the whole other team rage quits. I'm not sure what it is if there's like this cabal or conspiracy of people. They're like, oh my god, it's that drifter guy again. He's doing good. Alright, on the count of three, we're all gonna leave. Three! And they just leave and uh, <laughs> I don't get any good gameplay. I know I often roll with full parties and it's hard on the other team, but even when this happens, uh, or, or even when I do good by myself, they all tend to bail. Now, the next game that's coming up is just the opposite of this. Me and this exact same party were playing on Interchange. I think this is Ground War instead of regular old domination. Now, I'm counting uh, six people there. I think this is regular domination. And these guys just completely dumped on us. I got a pretty good start here in the very beginning of the game. And after that first death, it all goes downhill. I'm going to be going 8 and 30-something in this game. But me and the rest of the guys did not rage quit out. We sucked it up. We were going to be real men and play to the very, very end, no matter how hard it was. It's probably because I was riding their asses about it the whole time. They weren't very happy. I think one of our guys actually did quit out near the end. But now let's talk about a little survey a link I have down there in the description. What I did is I set up a survey at this website. Unlike SurveyMonkey, it's actually free and it doesn't like tell me I can only have 100 respondents. I want to hear what you guys have to say about rage quitting, because for me, I think that this is an important issue, not just for Modern Warfare 3, but for any and all online games. This is Battlefield, this is Counter-Strike, this is Unreal, this is Arma, uh, this is World of Warcraft, this is Diablo. When people aren't winning, they bail. I set up a very simple survey, uh, uh, simpler and better than the last one. It's a total of five questions. It should take you about two minutes to answer. Go ahead and answer it, and we'll put those results in the next video. Maybe not even the next Rage Quit video. Maybe just next week sometime. As I want to know what you guys think about this. Obviously, you're going to hear what I think, but I want to hear what you think. Now, finally, after three minutes of other accessory stuff, let's talk about reasons to quit. The obvious reason, one of the uh, most obvious reason that you should quit is when the other team is cheating. And when I say cheating, this isn't the kind of, I think that they're cheating, uh, they're doing too good to be playing for real, I think that they're using soft hacks or soft mods to where it looks like they're playing legit, kind of like they did in Halo, they turn their damage up a little bit or something like that. Kind of like versus these guys. I would swear sometimes that I should have won that gunfight right there, but I know really they're talented people. I'm watching how they're playing. The kind of cheating that I quit on is very, very blatant cheating, obvious cheating. When people are flying, when they have aimbots, they shoot one bullet all the way across the map. It always hits me in the head. When they do like instant 360 boom headshot, when they're outside of the map, uh, for poorly coded games, people get under the map. Uh, they sit on clouds. They glitch themselves inside of helicopters, weird things like that. Uh, uh, aimbots, obviously. Sometimes they just do weird things with the perks or they have some sort of wall hack where they can see you. This happened in some of the older Call of Duties where you could just see somebody's head as they were walking across the map. You could just see like the dot and just spray through the wall and nail it. When I see crap like that, I'm just going to leave because it's not worth my time to stay in the game and fight a bunch of cheaters where I can't win. Completely accessory to that, I did stay in a game and play cheaters in the original Aliens vs. Predator back in the early 2000s. Somebody was a Marine and 
and he was flying, and he had aim sh uh, like head uh, headshot aimbots and unlimited health and stuff. And I was a predator. And one of the cool things that a predator can do is you can shoot a little net that traps people, and they can't move and they can't shoot out or do anything very well. So uh, nobody could kill him. But I got my little net gun, and I shot him, and he got stuck, and he had to swap to his knife and try to cut his way out. And as soon as he cut his way out, we netted him again. The whole team had him pinned down, and we were netting him. Eventually, he busted out and headshotted us. But we griefed him for about four minutes. Really, really fun. One of the other reasons that I quit is when the lag is really, really bad. I'm not talking uh, three bar, two bar kind of lag. Red bar, a lot of times I'll just bail on. Now, Modern Warfare 3 is infamous for bad lag because this game has uh, this, this brilliant lag compensation, which is very, very annoying. I'm not sure why, but they've determined that I should receive about half of the maximum lag compensation. My lag comp is really bad in all games. So for me personally, the lag needs to be extremely bad before I quit. The same is true on Battlefield and any game. I need to be lagging pretty hard. It needs to make the game nigh unplayable before I quit. Other people that have better connections to me and they're used to you know really, really seamless gameplay, when they get down to my level of lag, I'm sure it feels really brutal and they quit. And I can't really fault them for that. When the game feels completely unplayable to you, I'm not going to blame you for quitting. The other uh, non-game related issues to quitting is not like, I don't quit when people use cheap guns or camp or something like that, or even these guys, because it's cheap tactics, but at the end of the day, they're playing me. The rest of the issues here are social issues. Like when my friends come over, if I'm just sitting here playing a game and one of my friends show up, the game goes off. It just it just happens. I try not to play when I know people are going to be over, but when that happens, the real person in the room with me gets the priority over this game. As I've lectured before, yes, the game is real people. There's real people on the other end. They all want to play this game and they all want to participate, but the reality is that you are interfacing over a computer and it is far less personal and important than when somebody comes to visit you in person. So like I said, one person, if even just one person that I know well, if they show up, the game goes off or I just drop the controller and leave or offer it to them or something. Don't make your friends watch you finish an Xbox game because that's just not cool. The same thing is true when family comes over, especially family from far away. Uh, if you haven't seen them, they shouldn't come over and have to watch you play Xbox game because your quitting morals are too high. Don't you know? Um, one of the more common reasons to quit that I totally agree with is leaving for school or work. If I've got to go to work, if I've got to go to school, if I got bills to pay, if I got something important to do, the game takes a back seat to that. It's it's a game at the end of the day. I keep saying this repetitively, it's a game, it's a game, it's a game, it's a game. It's just not that important compared to taking care of your real life business first. You don't want to miss school to play video games. You don't want to miss uh, college to play video games. You don't want to miss work to play video games. You don't want to be late. Nobody likes people that are late. I'm almost always on time. Uh, very precisely on time. You say be there at 8 o'clock, I'm going to be there at 7.59999, and as soon as I set my foot in the door, it's going to turn 8 o'clock. That's just how I roll. Some people do, some people don't. Uh, just don't be the late guy, and don't be late because you were playing games. What you should not do is use somewhere to go as an excuse to rage quit. A lot of times I do have somewhere to go. Not necessarily that important on when I get there and I'm doing bad. And the temptation, the little devil on my shoulder tells you, you know, you do have places to go. So it would be totally okay if you quit right now. But the reality is, in, in that situation, I'm just angry because I'm not doing good enough in the game. And people make me want to quit because I don't want to ride out this whole game. I don't really want to go wherever I'm going. I don't need to be there. And if your game is so frustrating that you would rather go to school and do homework or go to work because you know we all love our work everybody does definitely <laughs> then you really need to get a different game because I would never consider going to school instead of playing video games that's just kind of how it is uh, the other thing I mentioned it early dinner time food is important hydration is important bathrooms are important especially if you're sick but if your friends show up for dinner, you go to dinner, if somebody calls you like, hey man, you want to go eat somewhere, blah, 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 me and uh, Derped are going, you should meet up with us. Yeah, I'm going, game's done, over with. Doesn't happen too often. Normally there's some consideration for time. Like, yeah man, come uh, after the game, we're going in an hour or something like that. But every now and then you just get a short notice on something that you would rather be doing and to fuck with the game. I mean, it's real people, it's your real friends, they take higher priority than the online friends, so that's how it rolls. Same thing with uh, family dinners. In my household, we had this kind of thing about dinners in, uh, well, both of my households. I grew up in a divorced family, both with my mom and my dad. They considered meals to be extremely, extre extremely important on their, I guess you would call it like sociological scale, maybe psychological scale. Uh, sharing meals was very important. It was sort of an odd bonding time for a group of people.
people that really didn't get along very well. So when you didn't eat with them, it was considered to be very, very insulting. I ran into this a lot uh, when I first started playing Xbox Live back when it first came out and I was playing Unreal Championship. I actually ran a clan and I quit out of clan matches to go eat dinner with my dad because I knew how much it would hurt his feelings. Or I didn't really consider that at the time. It was more like I knew how pissed off he would get if I didn't go eat dinner with him. The same thing was true with uh, my mother. She would work all day making a big meal, and it'd be nice and warm. She's like, all right, dinner time. And I can't be like, no, Mom, I'm in the middle of an online game. Oh, I get my aggro really high. Go away. Just keep it warm for 30 minutes. N not, just completely not appropriate. Uh, don't do that. And the last reason that I quit out of games is because of my wife, and I don't do this very often. She's very considerate about the whole gaming scene, especially now that I do the commentary thing, and because she grew up in a family of gamers, she knows how it is. But sometimes just things need to get done, and uh, your girlfriend or your wife's world is not the same as yours, and the, I guarantee you they don't care about Call of Duty or Battlefield or Counter-Strike Go or WoW or anything like that nearly as much as you do. So it's one of those things like happy wife, happy life. The same thing is true of your girlfriend. Your girlfriend can make your life very, very happy, or she can make you very, very unhappy. So whenever she's growling at me. So whenever uh, she asks you for something, you should definitely, definitely put the game aside and go take care of it immediately. Uh, for those of you girl gamers that are out there, because I know, uh, statistically speaking, 4% of you are female gamers, and a certain percentage of you are going to be listening to this, your guy friends will probably be more accepting of you playing video games or finishing the match, but the same rule applies to you if they have something very important, then that thing that they want needs to take a higher priority than this game does, and you need to work to make them happy. That's how relationships work. That's how you stay in relationships. I've only had one forever. I've married the first girl I ever dated, so it worked out so well. Maybe I just got lucky. Maybe you should or shouldn't take my advice. That's uh, your prerogative. Ooh, my wife just made me grapes. She wasn't growling. She was making me grapes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. I hope you uh, now understand some of my opinions on rage quitting a little bit better. I hope you agree with me that it's kind of a pandemic in the community, and please take that little quiz. It's only five questions, two minutes, and I'll use the results on the next episode. Drifter out.